hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination, T.D. Jakes? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord. Who wants to be in a church where God is against the preacher? Where God is against the preacher, what kind of good can he do for you? How could he lay his hands on you and get a prayer through for you when your bills are piling up sky high and you need money and you need help and you're constantly giving your money, your hard-earned dollar and the cost of living is going up, but yet the wages are going down or staying at a standstill. Yes. They're trying to get you to take price cuts and get rid of the union so that you can have a decent wage so that Amen. you can try and make it in this life. Hallelujah. The prophet is brought out before. Follow him so that he can show you how to get $15, $20 an hour. Let your work. You're worth it. You're not working with seven, six dollars an hour. That's Amen. something that you take over to the third world countries where they don't know any better. Hallelujah. But we know better here in this yeah. capitalist society. You know, come on up under the prophet so he can show you how to get your just due. Hallelujah. So that everybody can have not just a few at the top. Hallelujah. Not just Barack Obama. He said, he said, even after he's out of office, his, his pay still goes on. Oh, yeah. Did you know that he's still paid after he's out of office? What kind of pension plan is that? Do you have such a thing as that? No. And he is proven to be the beast. Hallelujah, spoken about in Revelation chapter 13 as the prophet is brought out. I don't Amen. care what color he is. I don't care where he came from. Hallelujah. I don't care what he seems to stand for in the natural. He is the beast. He's against God. He's talking about trying to raise up sodomites and lesbians. And, and he's for abortion. Hallelujah. These things that God hates. Hallelujah. How dare uh, they sit up here and, and try and claim that they're all God, that they're a Christian. Christian means to follow the Christian book. They're yes. against the Christian book. Hallelujah. Where in the scripture does it say that God was a sodomite, which you call homosexuals today, mm. or gay? There's no such thing. God doesn't love you. You can't separate the sin from the person. If you are holding on Amen. to the sin, God will condemn you as surely as he will the devil. If you are holding on to these sins, you can be changed. Don't let the false preacher tell you and the uh, so-called psychiatrists tell you that you can't be changed, that you uh, can't come out of this lifestyle of homosexuality, sodomite, and lesbianism, you can if you want to change Amen. and you come up under the prophet of God who can help you to change, hallelujah, Amen. show you how to get this word in you, which is the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth, hallelujah, for a lost and dying generation, come up under the prophet and let him show you how you can, you used to walk funny, but you'll be walking straight, hallelujah, you can hold your head up high, look yourself in the mirror again and see that you are a man, you were born a man, you are watch this videotape again and then make you a right decision. No surgeon can change what God made in a fact of life. God made you a woman in fact of life and a surgeon can't alter that. And as the panelists brought out, the only thing that surgeon can do is make you a freak of nature and that's something you certainly don't want to be. Amen. We pray that God will redeem you and change your mindset to a mind of the character of Christ so that you can be productive and a, and a blessing to the eternal kingdom. Amen. Praise God. Thank Amen. you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank the Lord for the blessed word that has gone forth thus far. I want to go to Ezekiel chapter 20. Lord, we thank you for the blessed word that has gone forth thus far. I want to go to Ezekiel 22 and 25. It says, There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof. It says her prophets, not God's prophets. In the midst thereof, like a roaring lion, raving and cry, pray. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. 
They have put no difference between the holy and profane, neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profane among them. And that's exactly what's happening today. These false preachers, these false teachers, or false prophets are going forth, and they come together, oh, we're all one, and they'll come together to profane God's word, to uh, devour souls, because that's what they're doing. All those people that are in those churches, those big mega churches, these huge, and we're in South Carolina, and I heard the word so many times today, or the phrase that I almost got sick to my stomach, it's Bible Belt. We're in the Bible Belt. Amen. But nobody's following the Bible. What belt, what, you know, what Bible? Maybe it's like Evangelist uh, Brooks brought up earlier, that new uh, NIV version, or that Billy Graham Bible. That must be the Bible you're following, because the King James Version, which is the uh, truest rendition to the Holy to the scriptures, or praise the Lord, you're not following it, amen, you're devouring souls because you're coming together, a conspiracy, oh, Al Sharpton and Reverend Jackson, they always come together, we're going to fight against this, or, or fight for this right, and we'll be in the head of the gate, and a homosexual sodomite pray, parades, praise the Lord, but you're a conspiracy, you're against God's uh, word, because you're violating God's law, you profane his holy thing, it's a holy thing for a man and woman to come together. It's unholy for a man and a man and a woman and a woman to be together. It says you try to make no difference between the clean and unclean. Oh, we'll let them get married because they're just like they're just they're a couple just like a man and woman. No, they're not. They're a uh, vile couple. Amen. Foolish and vile. I mean, just abominable. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're violating God's law. He says you've made no difference between the clean and unclean. Now that's the Old Testament. I'm gonna go over to the New Testament in Second Peter. In chapter 2, but there were false prophets also among the people. Like I said, that's why it's happening even now. Even as there shall be false teachers among you who shall, who primarily shall bring in damnable heresy. Even deny the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So you Episcopalian leaders who left leaving your wives to be with another man, you're a damnable heresy. And you're, either, you're already in a false church or a false faith, praise the Lord. And then you're bringing all that abomination into the church. But the sad thing is verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious way, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And people will watch this YouTube and they'll maybe say, oh, watch them people. Oh, those people crazy. They call us evil, call us wrong. So you're the one. They're the ones who are crazy because they won't follow the word of God. And that's the first person that won't follow the word of God. Amen. And the same person, praise the Lord. And it says, And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. It was brought out about the selling. And that's what they're doing. They're making merchandise of you. T.D. Jakes has gotten rich off of those books that he's writing, those lies that he's telling. Yes, and people right. are buying them. He's on the bestseller this, bestseller that. But he's making merchandise of you for foolish people out there. Yes. Because of his covetousness. Yeah. He's coveting that money, and then he's been selling. Not only is he selling it, but then in the churches, right. and not just him, but a lot of all those false prophets out there, yes. and they're selling their tapes. It says, "Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbers not." We are at a time where God, He says, "If God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness right. to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah the eighth person, the preacher of righteousness." bringing in the flood upon the world of our God. Amen. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's sad though because AIDS and HIV kind of scares some people for a minute. But then again, this demonic spirit or this obsession, obsession and possession come upon them and they go for well. And people, oh, there's a cure for that. There's no cure. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't let them fool you. There's no cure because all of um, it's, you know, that sin against God, praise the Lord. He's going to, there's a, um, you may not, well, they, they're going to pass away and a lot of them, they say, oh, it was pneumonia. But well, we know That's the truth, right. praise yeah. the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, no. it'll turn out and the lifestyle becomes made manifest. Because yeah. the light will always make manifest the darkness. Praise the Lord. It's going to always bring yeah. out. You try to, you can't hide a candle on a bushel. God is going to always make known the truth. 
Amen. But again, these people that bring upon themselves swift destruction. And for those that are following, you're going to be right there along with them. But God said, no one will be without excuse. When you watch this video, don't hold they Those people are crazy. Follow, we're not crazy. Follow the word of God. Follow along with yes, us in the word. Amen. Amen. And watch, follow, watch the prophet's uh, YouTube messages, the messages that come forth on YouTube. And you'll see and have your Bible and pray about it.